All right, Zach. Um, what we're gonna start with, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the lumbar plexus first. Um, I think this is on YouTube as well, not this video, but um, a different one. So the easiest way to start, you just draw six lines, label them T12, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Okay, you'll start there, so it's a real quick shortcut. So uh, after that, you're just gonna draw little V's on every one of them, okay? So you're gonna draw a V here, 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 and you're not gonna draw one on the last one, okay? Um, so basically what I like to do um, is start that way, and then I just connect these two right here to make like a W. You can just make a W to begin with, okay? And then, so that's gonna um, stay the same there. Then you're gonna take this line, draw it over here, take skip one and go down to this one, draw it over here and connect it just like that. And then you're gonna take this line in between, draw it down just like that, take this one right here, draw it to connect it, and then the next one, draw it to connect it, just like that. And then you're gonna take L4 and L5, the one below on L4, draw it like that, and then take this one to connect it. So you'll finish just like that. And then all you gotta do is label from there. Um, so the first one is going to be your um, subcostal nerve, and it's going to originate from T12. And then your uh, iliohypogastric is going to be this little guy. So that's iliohypogastric. Okay, and then this guy down here is going to be ilioinguinal. I, I. Oh, I forgot a few. Um, so in between L1 and L2, you're just going to draw that right there. Okay. And that's going to be your um, genitofemoral nerve coming from there. Okay, so it's kind of going out that way. Okay, and then you're going to uh, label this one right here. This is going to be your lateral femoral cutaneous nerve right here, this guy. And then the one below it is going to be your femoral nerve. Okay, and then you're going to have another one inside here. And all I like to do is to just take a thing just like that, and I'm going to draw one from L2 and then connect it, okay? And that is going to be your obturator nerve, okay? Pretty simple. The last one um, is gonna be what you call your um, lumbosacral trunk, your LST, okay? Um, I don't normally like to combine it here, um, but you do know that your lumbosacral trunk is gonna receive from four and five. So that's a real quick way just to do the lumbosacral trunk, or the lumbosac, or the lumbo, uh, I'm sorry, the lumbar plexus, um, real easy. So you're going to get it really quick, and then boom, you know where the innervations are. All you got to do is trace them back. Unlike the uh, brachial plexus where you can't trace them all back because they receive fibers from different roots. But these, if it's going to that root, it's getting fibers. Um, so just remember how you do it. So that's an easy way to do the, uh, the lumbar plexus.